obvious thing. The first film was so successful, so charming, but what was it about these characters that you wanted to continue to tell the story, really? We left number one with them achieving a top ten album hit, which was incredible, but there was so much more of their story to tell. Um, so when audiences loved number one, we felt that there was an appetite to, to, to continue the, the journey. Yeah, and I think, you know, the second stage of their story is equally as unique and as compelling as the first one. You know, if, you, if, you'd, if you'd heard that 10 Singing Fishermen played Glastonbury and supported Beyonce, you want to make that film. It's just that we'd already made one. So we were like, well, why aren't we making this one too? And I think, you know, if there's an appetite for number three, there's definitely a conversation with everybody um, because they're unique. And I think there is no film without that band and without each man behind it. And, um, you know, yeah, we hopefully done their kind of their story justice. And you've got some amazing actors. Yeah. This time round, because they are so established and they know their characters inside out, did you encourage a little bit of sort of collaboration from them to see about their art? It was a really satisfying process writing for the actors that we'd already worked with. We could write for their strengths. Um, collaboration is key for us always as filmmakers. That's how we get the strongest, uh, strongest film in the end of the day. And the process is way more fun like that, so yeah. Uh, James Purefoy came on as executive producer. Um, the rehearsal process is really important for us as directors. Um, you know, everybody brings a bit of themselves to it. You know, that's how we work, it's great. Yeah. Is, it, is it important to you guys as well that this, this film really is steeped with tradition, these shanty towns, you know, they're centuries old. How important is it for you to celebrate the, I suppose, Cornish traditions, really, and and open that up to? We're not. It's not just a seaside town. It's much more than that. I mean, the film is about community. It's a celebration of Cornwall, but it's also a celebration of the sense of community that travels everywhere out of Cornwall. We're taking the beautiful Cornish traditions, scenery, people, but it's connecting with audiences nationwide and globally for the reason that it's universal. We all need those connections. We need to share, you know, emotions and support more, more so now than ever after after think, the lockdown. You know, we're um, reminding yeah. people of you know of what they've probably been missing, and I think what we've all been through with COVID has probably really um, focused everybody on what's important. And I think more so than ever, we've realised how important it is to be around people, which is why it's so important that this film is being played in cinemas across the nation, not just on a streamer. And I think that you want to watch a film that is, you know, that has laughter, that has emotion, tears, but most importantly, song and singing. And it, I don't think that you can uh, replicate that in your living room. You want to see that in the cinema. That's why cinema is so important. All those things are enhanced by being around other people, doing it in unity, crying, laughing, singing. Yeah, definitely. Finally, before I let you go to celebrate your film here, um, you're not making a documentary, you're making a film that's entertaining, yet you want to be authentic to the people you're writing about, but also you have an entertainment to make. How do you balance that? Um, we've taken some dramatic license to make sure that the film has an arc, that each character has its arc. It's inspired by real events, it's inspired by the real band who we're huge fans of, hopefully friends with still after they've seen the film. Um, so yeah, there's a little bit of massaging stuff, but you know we're inspired by that by their story. But also, I think, also I think, just as writers and directors, Meg and I, you know, our reference points are films that we grew up on, which are, you know, we believe that, you know, you can't just constantly laugh throughout a film. You've got to have pathos. You've got to have drama. And it almost felt like that fell out of fashion the kind of the combination of that, you know, dramedy, the comedy and the drama. But we love that. We love the kind of the roller coaster ride of laughing one minute, crying the other, singing your heart out the next. Light and the shade is really important. Super important yeah. Because that's what life is. That's what life is and that's what we try and do. I think we've gone a little deeper with the characters this time to go back to your question about working with people already. It gave them and us the confidence to delve a little bit deeper into the character arcs. Not necessarily darker, but just to, to, to travel a bit further with them all, not just on a surface level, so yeah.